So we have Young Cash, um, the Slovakian Mastiffs. Um, he's uh, circa eight and a half, nine months now. So we're just starting to teach him the importance of indicating when he sees uh, random strangers. Part, yes, indicating when he sees strangers. Yeah, good. Go to the window. Good. Track round with the dog. Let him work in front of the light. Go. Go. Good. Good. Now you notice that the decoy, um, you know, gives ground. Um, it's important that the dog starts to understand the power of his bark and that that bark can be used so effectively to shut down a threat or a concern. Now just let me unclip him. Yeah. Work with him. Good boy. Good. He's having fun. Stay there. Wait for the bark. Good lad. Good lad. Well, those are the first stages. Many uh, businessmen and women um, travel um, for work, sometimes for days, sometimes for weeks, sometimes for months. The person that's at home, home, this is one of the things that I believe we definitely, definitely do differently. The scenarios, the picture of protection, they can identify windows, sofas and when they see this behavior in the home they know how to react so this animal is not even concerned all of a sudden just come and stand just there say pass off, pass off. Good. 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 Now, unclip him. And give him the Quran. Good. He needs to learn. Good. Good. I cannot stress enough, especially in the UK, especially in the personal protection market, the importance of a dog barking and giving clear warning. This is a critical part of personal protection in the UK. Well, for our personal protection dogs, we prefer to try and scare people away before it gets to the more serious scenario of the dog having to bite people. Hopefully they, they heed the warning and, and, and flee. I think um, whether you're male, or female, one of the most scary things is being home alone. Um, and um, the most important thing for us is to educate this canine on when to act and when not to act. So this scenario here, and this is why we build this home invasion scenario room to help educate them. You got some creep that's hidden behind the curtains, just like in the horror films. Move across in the shadows. Mr. Tomas, move across in the shadows. Activate him. <laughs> Good. We want to encourage a strong bark, um, a determined bark. Um, a bark that um, you know could aid in scaring um, you know these type of uh, home invaders away, 
so they can't act out the crime. So here we are with Dice. Um, there is somebody already in the house, hidden by the curtains, and we're just showing him a role play um, that if this happens when he's in his real home, um, when his uh, potential um, homeowners are at risk, um, just to put him in defence so he can help mitigate the concern. So, you know, the lady of the house knows there's nobody else in the house. Walk forward. You've seen some little activities by the curtain. And you start to call out there, is anybody there? Is anyone there? Did anyone shoot at me? It's me At this stage, you'll notice that, you know, we have him on a line. He's learning. Of course, you're not going to be in your home relaxing and, you know, you have your dog on a, on a line. But at the moment, what we're trying to do is teach the animal um, and get him to have some controls. In a residential environment, the probability of accidents is equally as great as the probability of genuine home invasion. So the, the, the controls at the moment is critical. Pop out again. Pop out again. The personal protection canine is very different from a police dog. Um, we want to encourage the dog, especially with the UK law, um, to bark more, um, for that to be its principal defence. Um, you know, the option of just sending dogs in to go and bite it, it is not in our favour in this country. Of course we can do that. We're very skilled in the directed bite, but we also have to be very careful when working in the UK, um, the law doesn't really permit us to mitigate threats as effectively as we should be able to. So that's why we have all these controls in there. Nevertheless, the end product, we are experts in canine combat, the weapon hand, the importance of snatching the weapon and delivering a meaningful grip is absolutely a priority. The switch bite. It's wonderful watching yet another dog of ours. This is Archie. Um, this dog is uh, 15 months old, um, bred at the academy and trained at the academy uh, in effective canine combat. Staying alive is everything. So we have um, a dog bred here, young Archie. And we're just role-playing Home Alone. We've got this uh, room that we've set up um, to replicate people's homes. Windows, tables, sofas, radiators, freezers, stairs, beds, you know. It's very typical. So someone's breaking in and they're sneaking around. Mr. Tomas. One of the reasons that we are encouraging a very passionate bark is to help us do one or two things. Genuinely scare a genuine home invader. Remember, we do have the option for a directed bite, but that bark also allows the dog to give warning just in case it's actually an innocent Amazon driver that for some stupid reason decided to let himself in uh, to, to deliver the parcel. One of the worst things is to have a criminal hidden up in your home waiting for you. So it means they're not here for the presence. 
They're not here for the tinsel. They're not here for the radiator or for the food in the freezer or for this majestic oil painting here. They're here to absolutely fuck your life up. Young damsel, enter. This is why it's so important. So go to your presence. First time I'll start shouting at her. Let him bark properly. Where would I draw the line on reasonable force? Um, I'd rather be in court explaining myself to a judge than become a victim. If I found someone in my home, hidden in a wardrobe with a weapon, there is no negotiation. All bets are off. The dog will rag your ass completely. Many times people already have dogs when they come to us. So the balance of dogs working together is so important. And we achieve that through role play. They mustn't redirect on each other. We definitely encourage the dogs, regardless of the breed, to give us a very passionate bark, a very defensive bark, and a very relentless bark.